Today we're going to be subtracting rational numbers, specifically looking at fractions and mixed numbers. You, you should know the process by now. Because we've done enough of these, it's all the same. You start by rewriting the original problem using add the opposite. Decide if you want to add or subtract, simplify, and don't forget your sign. So we start out with negative 3 fourths minus negative 1 half. We change that to negative 3 fourths plus, in this case, a positive 1 half. Now this is where we still have to remember all the rules for adding fractions. We'll need a common denominator. In this case, it's 4. By now you should be able to recognize some of these easier common denominators. So we would rewrite 1 half if you multiply 2 times 2, you get 4, and then 1 times 2, you get 2. So when you rewrite it, you should end up with negative 3 fourths plus positive 2 fourths. Well, what's negative 3 plus positive 2? Negative 1, and it's going to be negative 1 fourth. And you can't simplify that, so we're done with that problem. On our next problem, it's 2 thirds. And we're going to change it from minus to plus. And 5, 6 will go from positive 5, 6 to negative 5, 6. And I'm going to put that in parentheses to help show that. Okay. Once again, we need a common denominator. So let's use the common denominator of 6 because it's the first number 3 and 6 both go into. 3 times 2 is 6, so 2 times 2 is 4. Remember, we're multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the same number. Now we're getting to an addition problem with common denominators. So we have positive 4 plus negative 5. Well, that'll equal negative 1, and it's going to be 6. So far we haven't had to simplify, and a lot of times that'll happen. Okay, when we see mixed numbers, a lot of times we get scared because that looks very intimidating. But all you have to do is change them to improper fractions. 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 3 on top will be 15. And so that one is rewritten as 15 fourths, and don't forget your negative sign. Now, let's go ahead and change this to a positive, and we know whatever we get will be negative because this is a positive 2.5. We now need to make it a negative, and let's go ahead and change it to an improper fraction. Four time, 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 on top is 5. So right there, we actually combined a couple of steps. We're doing add the opposite. We're also changing it to improper fractions. Now we need to rewrite it because we have to have both of these with the same denominator. So when we do that, let's see, we can use the denominator 4, so that's the first one they have in common. 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 2 is 10. Now when we look at this, we now have negatives plus negatives. We end up with a lot of negatives. How many negatives do we end up with? Negative. 25 fourths. If you wanted to change that to a mixed number, you would do 4 into 25, and you would get negative 6 with 3 fourths left over.